Hello there Virgo, welcome to my channel and thank you for tuning in to the energies and vibrations coming through for December 24th to the 30th of 2018. This is a general condensed weekly reading so please only take the portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe and like and comment because it really does help pull your vibrations into the future readings. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks you guys. And after the reading, I've included a take note moment. I hope you stay tuned in for that. Okay, so off camera, Virgo. I have done a protective blessing. I have shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere of the week. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Eight of Cups. This is water energy. Has to do with emotions and feelings. This is moving on. You feel like there's a better future and it's just around the corner. The Eight of Cups. This is finding a new direction. It's knowing what you want and not settling for anything less. You're to stay the path because you're going with the flow and you are on the right path. This is the drive to do it better and you may wish for some time alone. You're ready to look for better things. This is an emotional turning point. But the cards warn of being aware of the kind of restlessness that strides off too quickly or hastily Missing the very goal, the cups. This is following the flow of energy, and it not only takes less effort, but it also achieves the best results. Your second card, this is the energies crossing over your path. Number 10 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Wheel of Fortune. This is a new run of luck. Fate and destiny. The wheel is turning and it's going to be turning in your favor. Number 10, the wheel of fortune. This is an unexpected turn of luck. It's putting your plans into motion and getting results. It's a change with destiny. It's good fortune for the better. It's a new run of luck, a surprise gift, this is events turning around in some fashion. But this change is inevitable because a karmic lesson is to be learned here. It's something that you've already started. It's already in motion. Doors are now going to open. You're going to become unstuck. This is an opportunity, a new chapter starting you're experiencing a change in your circumstances and it'll be positive because you're accepting the course of events and this is going to promote your growth and advancement and it's a reminder that every period of intense activity is followed by a time of rest and inactivity and another card that reminds us to go with the flow your third card and this is how it affects you this can be your attitude Number 16 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Tower. This is a swift and dramatic change. You're to let something crumble and let the light in. Sometimes this indicates falling or failing or losing a secure position. Number 16, the Tower. This is an upheaval, a change but it will bring enlightenment. It's going to bring you a new understanding. Sometimes it's learning the hard way, but this upheaval is going to release pent up emotions. It'll make you feel liberated. You might be able to find a spiritual opportunity within drama. What is destroyed in conjunction with this card has served its purpose and it needs to go. It could also be a change in your beliefs or values. 
and there are unseen forces at work here. So a more expanded vision is required and you will have a new understanding. This could be a new beginning in your work, a surprise event. A lot of surprises here. Could be on your job. Could be maybe even unexpected expenses. Someone may even have an emotional outburst. But there is a drastic change required. And this card is ruled by the planet Mars. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. A new beginning, the Ace of Wands. This is fire energy. What else could happen but a new beginning? This Wands energy, fire energy, stands for enterprise and creation. This is ignition. This is a beginning of enterprise, in businesses, it's high passion, in relationships, could be intimacy. This is being open for a new way out of a hard time. This can be a birth or conception, but it is a spark of inspiration. Another gift, a gift from life, a positive new beginning. There's going to be passion and excitement and fun. So you should seize the day, because the answer is in the doing. Fire energy, it's always in constant renewal and growth. There is creation and ideas and animation. This card represents a glowing rush of desire to expand and create and push past restrictions. This is a tremendous upsurge of energy. And with your fifth card being the devil, it's even stronger energy. Got a lot of major stuff going on here. The bottom of the deck card and the underlying issue, this is what's unseen. Number 15 of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the devil. This represents restriction and bondage. Could be to material things that are keeping you chained. Sometimes it could be worn out ideas. That could be part of what has to go with the tower. Number 15, the devil. This card also represents Capricorn. There could be an oppressive situation or a controlling person or a situation. There could be illusions of helplessness. You might be struggling with or denying addiction. Could be to drugs or physical objects possessions, or even unfulfilled desires. This card also stands for indulgence, because these are chains you've put on yourself. They can represent primal feelings and desires, sex and obsession, illness and depression. There may be some shame or jealousness or codependent behavior. Someone may be shackled by ignorance or by chained by the need for approval. And someone may sacrifice without thinking what it costs. So be careful of how you act in a relationship and focus on what you know will be constructive. Thanks, you guys. Now stay tuned in and leave me a comment. Take note, for this is key. When you find you're asking questions about life, that is a sign you're having a major breakthrough. Whenever we ask questions, you know, the deep wanting to know the answers, we then attract the answers in a very way we can understand. The truth of life is written on the others, the Akashic Records. For us to receive answers in life, we must first begin to ask. Hey, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light. Thanks for watching.